Oh, hi. Just keeping cool. I'll get into that in a moment. But uh, welcome to John's video channel. Now, if you've been here before, then great to see you back. I'm glad you're coming back because it must mean I'm making interesting videos. If it's your first time here, then always great to see people, make new friends, have a look around the videos we've got here. I've put them into a little playlist. I hope you may find more useful. Like them, share them with other people if you think they're going to find them useful, and above all, subscribe to the channel. Get your friends to subscribe to the channel so that we can actually push getting more videos on and more subscribers on. That would be absolutely fantastic of you. Now, as I mentioned earlier, it's been a bit hot at the moment here in the summer, so I've got a really interesting USB-powered portable fan with a clip. Just charges USB on the back. Turn it on here. It pivots like that, or well, pivots like that, and gives you a great breeze at various speeds. It lasts for three or four hours, so I find it quite handy if I'm away from a mains power source. I keep myself cool. In fact, I use it in the plane sometimes, but uh, whatever. Anyway, I mentioned it a while ago that uh, I was going to be helping people keeping their plastic cards secure when the, with the chip and pin feature. So, let's get, and look, get into that and have a look at it. Okay, let's start looking about how to keep your plastic chip and pin cards safe, particularly when you're away. Okay, now uh, one method of doing it is by getting a RFID protective wallet like this. Basically, they're just a big metal cage around it to stop anybody getting into it. It's the same principle as people use pouches for keys where they've got keyless entry. Personally, I'd rather turn keyless entry off and keep my card, but uh, that's up to people. So what we do is by having cards in here, it's supposed to be protecting you from people scanning your cards. But it's quite big, quite bulky. That's mainly because I've got lots of cards in there, actually. So there are other, there are other methods of keeping your card safe. Now, uh, I've got a card here. Don't get too excited. This is actually an expired card, so it's not going to be used to anybody. But I'm going to show the general principle of how we use this. Now, this is an active RFID blocker. There are various ones around, so better than others. This one's a credit card, and this really does work pretty well. What it does is, when you get near to an end of C reader, like one of this tap and pay uh, cards, then the energy from that energises this, and this broadcasts out a signal to block everything. Let me show you that it actually does work. I've got a little RFID reader on my f phone here. If I approach this card, she'll get a beep. Come on. There we go. And you see, it's read the details. I say, it's an expired card, so don't get too excited about that, OK? If I shut the program down and start it up again so we can blank it. See, it says approach an FC tag. So I'm going to put my tag blocker and my card together. Get the phone, put it around the phone. And as you can see, it doesn't read. Take the card reader away. And it's ready to go. Okay, so it shows you that this actually does work. They're not especially cheap. I think I paid, no, not too bad actually. I think I paid uh, about £30 for three or four of these. And they do, as you see, they really do work. So if you're taking one or two cards around, rather than taking this massive, <coughs> sorry about that, get rid of that uh, tissue. So I'm taking a bulky card like that. You can take this and another one, uh, put them in a little container, put them in your pocket, and they're pretty good. So if you want to stay safe, particularly from the modern firm of <coughs> pickpockets who are going to just go by and sort of, uh, slide pass and take your details then I'd really recommend getting one of those. Now hopefully you found that useful I've enjoyed making it. If, you, if you've enjoyed it then please like it share it with other people I think being secure is particularly important more and more these days as it's getting more and more electronics around and things like that and remember to subscribe to the channel so you know when more things are going to be happening okay so please do that look forward to seeing you soon so uh thanks for everything bye for now.